friend welcome to marine engineering hub this is your narrator ravi gupta today we going to talk about refrigeration system basically the refrigeration system work on a principle of vapor compression cycle what is a vapor compression cycle i will talk in the later slide first before starting a refrigeration system i want to tell you that the refrigeration system consist of four basic component first is the compressor second is the condenser third one is expansion valve and fourth one is the evaporator so as you can see this is the compressor this is the condenser this is the expansion valve and this is the evaporator after that we i will take you to the other slide like this before that we need to understand the basic concept first is that as you can see the whole thing the whole refrigeration system is a enclosed cycle okay and the refrigeration vapor coming out from the evaporator is been compressed here in compressor okay and after being compressed the temperature of the refrigerant getting raised up as the temperature of the refrigerant getting raised up it is been cooled down by the condenser either by the mean of sea water or by fresh water as it getting cooled down the gas form of refrigerant is changed into the liquid form and that liquid form is been converted into the gas form by through help of expansion valve the expansion valve is a pressure controller which control which drop the pressure from high to low and as it extract the heat from the evaporator it convert it form from liquid to gas okay this is a basic synopsis of a refrigeration system we'll see later slide how the whole thing work first let's see here what i have written compressor the main function of a compressor is to raise the saturation temperature of a refrigerant so that it can be cooled by the condenser okay so the temperature of the refrigerant is been increased so that it can be cooled by the condenser for that reason the compression is provided after that what is happening the raise saturation temperature of a refrigerant is cooled by condenser either by fresh water or sea water to change its vapor form one thing i want to tell you that one thing you need to mind that the whole system can also be subdivided into two part high pressure system and low pressure system from evaporation from here to here this part is a low pressure thing okay the thing the gas is in low pressure zone and from discharge of a compressor to the inlet of expansion valve this area is high pressure basically what is happening as the refrigerant is increasing the uh, sorry as a compressor is increasing the pressure of the refrigerant it is in vapor form and high pressure after it has been cooled by condenser it is converted into liquid form but still it is in high pressure after that as it passes through expansion valve expansion valve is a pressure controller which convert the high pressure to low pressure zone but still it is in liquid form so here this till the condenser from here to here this thing is in gas form here to here it is in liquid form from expansion valve to the entry of evaporator low pressure evaporate refrigerant is entering the evaporator and that is been extracting the heat from the environment and converting it into the gas form and that is going to the again to the compressor okay now let's see on the bigger system as you can see the four component here is one is the compressor condenser evaporator and that is the expansion valve along with it it consists of various component safety device 
so first let's see suppose the represent is coming out from the evaporator and it is going to compressor compressor is compressing the refrigerant gas as it is compressing the refrigerant gas it is provided with the cutout that if the valve before the condenser is shut at that time the system this line may get pressurized to prevent that a hp cutout is provided okay so the cutout a safety device is provided here as the refrigerant is getting compressed now the high pressure refrigerant gas form will go and will be cooled in the condenser by sea water or it can also be cooled by a fresh water and as it is been cooled the gas form of refrigerant having high pressure will be collected in a receiver unit in a liquid form from here the liquid form the refrigerant gas will flow and as it flow it will go pass through a master solenoid and then through a dryer so that to eliminate any gas or any mist particle or water particle or any carry over of the oil particles of the compressor and through the siphon glass it will go to solenoid and through a thermostatic expansion valve it will convert itself from a high pressure liquid refrigerant to a low pressure liquid refrigerant and as it enter the evaporator it will extract the heat from the surrounding means from the refrigerant area and as it extract the heat it will boil off and as it boil off it will convert into a gas form and it will again go to the compressor suction now i have bypassed many of the safety device now i will tell about the safety device here master sonar is provided which will prevent the operation of the refrigerant which will, which will prevent the flow of a refrigerant if any fault occur in a compressor as you can see the master solenoid valve get its signal from a motor controller or a device which will assess the condition of the lp and hp if there is any cut out lp and hp in that case it will prevent the starting of the master solenoid and as the master solenoid will close it will prevent the flow of refrigerant okay now after the condenser the refrigerant will flow and now will pass through a dryer this dryer as i have told is provided so that it can extract any oil particle or mist particle of the refrigerant after that through a hair it will pass through a solenoid this solenoid is a thermostatic control solenoid this will come into operation by monitoring the condition of the inside the evaporator if the evaporator temperature inside is very cool down in that case this solenoid will be in closed position but if the sensing bulb sense that the temperature of inside the refrigerant is high in that case it will cause the opening of the solenoid as the solenoid will open it will pass through a thermostatic expansion valve and after the thermostatic expansion valve it will go to a evaporator now as the refrigerant flow in the evaporator it will extract the heat means basically as it is extracting the heat it is making the surrounding temperature of the that area getting cooled and as it getting cooled it is getting the refrigerant is getting boiled off and converting it form from low pressure liquid refrigerant to a high pressure liquid refrigerant sorry low pressure liquid refrigerant to a gas gas low pressure low gas refrigerant okay now here as you can see here is a defrost element is provided that defrost element is provided so that from time to time the evaporator coil can be defrosted to prevent the unwanted 
accumulation of ice over the surface so that a good amount of heat transfer can always take place okay now i hope you understand the whole thing okay now as you can see this is a vapor compression cycle here this one represent the absolute temperature and this one represent the entropy this one is the saturated liquid line and this one is a saturated vapor line okay this one is a compression this one is the condition condensation and this one is the evaporation and this one is the expansion okay so as you can see from after the evaporation after the as the gas refrigerant is coming out from evaporator the pressure is been increased and as the pressure is increased this is the work done by compressor and after that as it has been cooled down by the condenser it is getting temperature is getting down and after that it changing its form from gas to liquid form after that it is again changed so as it passes through a thermostatic expansion valve it is getting depressurized from high pressure to low pressure and then as it passes to the evaporator it is extracting heat and gaining the heat it is changing its form to liquid to again back to the gas okay now as you know that this one is the heat extracted from the environment and this one is the here is the heat extracted by the condenser okay now heat energy received from the cold chamber is area under ab okay this area heat rejected in the condenser is equal to area under cd okay heat energy equivalent of work done is area of the figure abcd a b c d plus area under da okay this one da is equal to heat energy rejected area under cd this one this one whole area whole area minus heat energy received is equal to area under ab that one this one okay so now if anyone asks you what is the coefficient of performance then you can say in simple term is that heat energy received that is what are the heat energy we have received okay this one is equal to heat energy equivalent to work done what is the work done we are doing the work this one okay so i hope you understand now through another thing pressure and enthalpy graph you can see that this one is the heat rejected this one is the compression this one is the heat extracted and this one is the expansion okay so i hope you understand the basic concept of a refrigeration system if you have any doubt please do comment